Hey guys, Deviator here with part 2 for the portal gun. So our next step is to set up the functionality of our portals. Uh, I'm just going to start with the blue portal. Just go ahead and open up the blueprint. Uh, the first thing we want to do is detect when something touches the portal. So we're just going to grab our box 1 component and we're going to grab a node called add-on component begin overlap. Uh, now we're going to grab our bool variable down here is teleporting and we're going to get that and off of that we are going to branch and we'll just plug this in like so uh, now the reason we want to do this is let's say we don't have this variable um, let's say we enter portal 1 portal 1 is going to teleport us to portal 2 well once we get to portal 2 we're already touching it so portal 2 is going to teleport us back to portal 1. So we're basically getting stuck in an infinite loop. Um, that's not a good thing. So by setting up this variable, we're going to be able to offset um, the overlap. Uh, that way we're not going to be getting stuck in infinite loops. So on our branch here, um, if this variable is teleporting, comes back as true. So if the player is currently teleporting, what we need to do is set up a delay and we'll just say for a half a second that should be plenty of time and we're gonna grab this variable again and we're gonna set it this time and we're gonna set it back to false so we're just gonna leave that box unchecked so if we come down here to branch again now if we touch the portal and we're not currently teleporting we need to teleport so the first thing we need to do is decide where we're going to teleport to well we want to teleport to the location of the other portal. Um, now if the other portal was set up in the level before the game was run, we could easily just grab a reference variable for that um, actor and plug it in and everything would be good to go. Well the problem is we're not spawning our portals until runtime, so we have no clue where they're at so we can't grab a reference for them. Uh, so what we need to do, well we can grab a reference for them, but what we need to do is we need to search for those during runtime. So off of false, we're just going to come down here and we're going to grab a node called get all actors of class. Uh, now the class we want to search for is we want to search for the red portal. We're working in the blue portal uh, blueprint right now and we need to get a reference to the red portal. So once we find this is the class that we're going to be looking for. Uh, we're going to come out here and we're going to choose get. This is going to get any actors of that class. And there's only going to be one of them. So we're going to get the actor location. And now that we have that location, we can teleport. Um, now off this teleporter node here, um, you'll see target. Target is going to be what are we teleporting. Well, we want to teleport the player, so we're going to get a node called get player pawn. This is going to get the pawn that we're using as a player, and we'll just plug that in there. Um, we also want to get the rotation um, of our player. That way, when we go through the portal and come out in the other portal, we're not facing in some weird random direction. So we're going to come off of here, and we're going to choose get actor rotation and we're just going to plug that into destination rotation here okay we're going to come back here for a second uh, where we are getting the actors of class we're going to come off of here and we are going to choose cast 2 and we want to choose red portal uh, we need to the reason we're doing this is we need to change a variable in that blueprint um, the red portal blueprint is basically identical to the blue portal blueprint um, it has the same variable called is teleporting so we need to change that so as a red portal we want to set is teleporting and we're gonna set it to true so we just want to put a check mark in that box and we're just gonna plug that in to teleport like so and that should be good so we're just gonna hit compile and save here um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and just control C to copy them. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is the red portal is basically going to be identical except there's going to be a few changes. So I'm just going to paste that in here. 
first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this um, component begin overlap node the cast to red portal and the set is teleporting and I'm just going to delete those the reason I'm deleting those are because those are dependent to that blueprint that we just copied it from so they won't work in this blueprint so off of get here I'm going to choose cast um, this time I want to choose cast to blue portal and as blue portal we want to set is teleporting to true check that box and we'll connect this here um, so our get all actors of class we're gonna change this from red portal to blue portal and I'll just plug that into the cast and over here we need to select our box one component and we're gonna choose add on component begin overlap and we're gonna plug that into our branch I'm just gonna compile and save and I'll close this out uh, if you hop back into the level here I'm just gonna drag my blue portal into the level and I'll drag the red portal into the level over here and we're just gonna hit play so we can test this out real quick um, if I go to my blue portal you can see it teleports me to the red portal if I enter the red portal it teleports me back to the blue um, so that'll be it for this video in the next section we're gonna go through setting up the projectile for our portal gun